Hey there, everybody. I uh, just wanted to make this hopefully quick video uh, about my issues with installing Image. Uh, so, I mean, if you're in this video, you already know what Image is, so I'm not going to go over that. Uh, my issue, and you're probably having this same issue if you're watching uh, this video, is Image isn't loading, and when you look at the logs, uh, you see something kind of like this. Uh, could not open extension control file and you know user share uh, Postgres SQL 15 vectors dot control uh, there's another error uh, above this that would tell you right away what you needed uh, obviously I got it working and um, long story short if you're going to be installing any apps um, make sure you read the instructions, make sure you read the manual <laughs> would have saved me a lot of, uh, a lot of time. Uh, but anyways, so this is what I should have, uh, read in the first place. Oh, by the way, I'm using Unraid to install, uh, this. I went back to Unraid. I tried Synology for a while, uh, it just wasn't working for me. And I went ahead and went back to something that I was more comfortable with. So, uh, anyway, I'm, that's another video, but, uh, when you're installing image, uh, it says additional requirements, Postgres, uh, Postgres 14, 15, 16 with github.com, tensor cord, pg, vecto.rs. That's where I should have been like, oh, okay, well, What's this all about? Because I didn't know what it was uh, at first. And so, basically, let's go ahead and open this up. We need to install pgvecto.rs. And the quickest way to install it, especially if you're using Unraid and there's probably another way to do this, but this is the way I did it, is I went ahead and installed, uh, just went into apps, um, looked for Postgres. I chose Postgres 14 here. And normally, under repository, you'd see Postgres version 14. In this case, I went ahead and just entered tensor cord, pgvecto-rs, uh, and you know the rest of it and I got this from the github repo uh, on the instructions on how to install it I just took it from here so I went ahead and just copied that and pasted it under repository and then you go ahead and just install uh, Postgres uh, 14 as normal and once everything is done, what you will see is uh, if you go back into your uh, into your logs uh, for image, you'll notice that everything is starting and get image. Image just starts up and you go through the process of uh, creating your first uh, ad the admin account. You're going to be the first uh first account which is immediately the admin and uh, yeah you just take it from there so hopefully if you guys are having issues installing image and you're having the same problem that I was having uh, this helps you out a little bit and finally gets you to um, using this awesome software honestly I tried Synology photos when I was using Synology I image is the one that I would actually use. I used to use Nextcloud to uh, upload my photos. It's just it was just becoming a hassle. Um, things would work for a little bit and then everything would break. I've never had any issues with Image yet uh, until now going back uh, to Image and installing it. But you know what? Uh, figured it out. Hopefully this helps you as well. Uh, if it did, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know how. Let me know what your frustrations were, and um, 
And if you've got another way to do this, definitely leave it down in the comments as well. And if this video did help you also, be awesome. Hit that thumbs up button. And it also helps out the channel. Have a good one, guys. Until next time. Peace.